Hey guys, I'm Eugene Des back with another lecture. It's kind of long, so I want to just speed through it, get through it really quickly, not take your time. Lesson four, simple questions. Uh, just a quick review. This is how we make declarative sentences in Japanese. E wa bi des. E wa bi des. Key sentence. Kore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa? Kore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa? Okay, we'll talk about that throughout the lesson. Here's your vocabulary. Uh, these first three are very important. We're going to use them a lot throughout this lesson. Kore, sore, are. Kore, sore, are. Which means this, that, and that over there. We're going to talk about more of that later. Um, the next word is our question word for what. Nani, nani, nani. And then our phrase, what is it? Nan desu ka? Nan desu ka? Next, we have the question particle, ka, ka. You place this at the end of a sentence to make it a question and acts like a question mark in English, which is why its English translation is question mark. Next, we have yes and no in Japanese, which is hai and iie, hai iie, okay? And more casual way of saying that is un and un, 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 okay? And then we have some three generic objects that we're going to be using a lot throughout this lesson and in future lessons. Chair is isu. Chair. Isu. Isu. Pen is pen. <laughs> the same, right? Pen. I have a pen. Uh, pencil is enpitsu. Enpitsu. Okay? Moving on, let's talk more about kore, sore, are. These are demonstrative nouns, right? Uh, we can use them in sentences like this. Kore wa, kore wa pen desu. Kore wa pen desu. I have a pen. Uh, we can also say, sore wa enpitsu desu. That is a pencil. Sore wa enpitsu desu. Okay, these are not adjectives, so you, you can't use them in sentences like this person is a Japanese person. Kore hito wa nihonjin desu. That's just wrong. <laughs> There's another word we're going to use and it's similar, but you don't use kore or sore or are to, you know, refer to other things like that. They are nouns, so you have to treat them on their own. Okay, let's look at some situations where um, we, you know, when do we use kore? When do we use sore and are? What is the differences? Stuff like that. Here we have a chair, and it's close to this woman in blue. She can say, Kore wa isu desu. Kore wa isu desu. This is a chair because it's close to her. That's kore. On the other hand, the guy farther from the chair would say, Sore wa isu desu. Sore wa isu desu. That is a chair. Okay? Now, if the object is considerably farther away, usually from both speakers, uh, they tend to use the word are. Are wa isu desu. And they both would say that, not just this man right here. I couldn't find a speech bubble in pages that had two kind of tails, um, so I just put it on him. Are wa isu desu. It's far from both of them. Okay, let's get into our grammar now. Asking questions using nan desu ka? So simple questions, you just tack on ka, and it changes the declarative sentence into a question. A wa nan desu ka? A wa nan desu ka? What is A? What is A? Examples. Are wa nan desu ka? Are wa nan desu ka? What is that over there? Sometimes I translate are as that over there. What is that over there? Sakana wa nan desu ka? Sakana, sakana wa nan desu ka? What is sakana? And that is the word in Japanese for fish. With this, with this lesson, you're, you're going to be able to say so many more things in Japanese, and your Japanese world is just going to open up and just become so much wider and bigger, and it's going to be great, right? Um, now, with this phrase, kore wa nan desu ka? Sakana wa nan desu ka? You can ask your Japanese friends or people who know Japanese, you know, what is what is this in Japanese? Or what does this Japanese word mean in English? You know, just opens up a whole new world. So uh, to answer these questions, simply remove ka and then it makes it a declarative sentence. 
and then you would replace nani with whatever the answer is. So this man here asks, sore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa nan desu ka? He's referring to that chair. And she would respond, kore wa isu desu. So there's no ka, see? We drop the ka and we replace nani with the thing, the answer. Okay? Activity one, insert the most appropriate word in each blank based on the situation. We have two situations here. Um, watch out for, you know, who is saying what, and then watch out for where the object is. Just saying, go ahead, try to solve this on your own. If you want, I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, uh, let's start with a man because he's asking the question. We know that because his sentence ends with ka. Nani nani wa nan desu ka? He's asking, what is that? That pencil, that red pencil next to her, far from him. So he would use the word sore, right? Because it's far from him. Sore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa nan desu ka? What is that? She would say, because it's close to her, kore wa enpitsu desu. Kore wa enpitsu desu. This is pencil. Okay? Number two. Uh, same situation, kind of. He's still the man is still asking the question, and she's answering. This time, the object is close to the questioner, the man, um, and he's asking. Nani nani wa nan desu ka? Uh, in English, right? We would think, oh, he's asking, what is this? This in Japanese is kore. So he would say, kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? She would answer, that is a chair. So she would say, sore wa isu desu. Sore wa isu desu. And here the answer is in bold. Now, um, just a quick little point. You don't have to repeat the subject, okay, when you answer simple questions. When you want to answer a question quickly or simply, you can just say the answer and this. All right? So in this situation, the guy asks, Are wa nan desu ka? What is that over there? And she says, Isu desu. Isu desu. That's it. Simple. Um, of course, there are casual ways of asking questions like this. Nani kore? Nani sore? Nani are? Okay, there's no ka, and you just, because there's no ka in Japanese, you need a question mark. All right? Another way is, kore nani? Kore nani? Sore nani? Are nani? Right? You have to be kind of questioning in your tone. Kore nani? Right? What is this? What is that? This sounds kind of, this is kind of a childish or even feminine way of saying it, a dainty way of saying, you know, the informal. What is that? What is this? So, so most males will say, Kore nanda? Sore nanda? Are nanda? And it's just an, a casual way of saying, you know, what is this, what is that, what is that over there in a more masculine tone. Generally, when you add da to anything, it just becomes more masculine. So let's look at this in practice. He's asking, are nani? And she replies, isu da. Isu da. It's a chair. Activity two, answer the following questions in Japanese. Note the level of respect. In each situation. Go ahead, pause the video, try to solve it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, the guy asks, Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? Um, that is a PC, personal computer. So we say, sore, I'm going to use sore, right? Because they're using kore, meaning it's near them and far from us. So I'm going to say, oh, that's a PC. Sore wa Pasokon desu. Ah, sore wa pasokon desu. Niban, number two, she's asking, kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa, kore nani? Kore wa nan desu ka? It's a dog. That is a dog. So we would say, sore wa inu desu. Sore wa inu desu. Number three, we're getting casual here. Nani kore? He's asking. Nani kore? Oh, it's an apple. Lingo. So we would reply casually. Lingo da. Lingo da. You can also say, sore lingo da. Sore wa lingo da. Mm -hmm. Number four, he's asking, kore nani? Kore nani? It's a book. <laughs> so we would respond casually, uh, hon da. 
本だ。Or, それは本だ。それ本だ。Sounds like Honda. <laughs> Here are the answers in gold. Another activity, activity three, provide the appropriate questions for each given answer. So they're answering a question and you have to provide the question. It's kind of reverse of what we've been doing up to this point. Go ahead, try to solve it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, he's saying, he's declaring, Kore wa hasami desu. Kore wa hasami desu. Hasami is scissors. So we would ask, he's, he's using kore, which means it's close to him, far from us. So we would say, sore, right? Sore wa nan desu ka? Would be the right question. Sore wa nan desu ka? Ha, kore wa hasami desu. Number two, getting casual here, neko da. <laughs> neko da. Is what she's saying. We would ask casually, Sore nani? We don't know. She's not using kore, sore, or are. She's not using a demonstrative noun. So we don't know if it's close to us, close to her, far away from both of us. We don't know. For this question, honestly, you can use whatever you want. You can say, uh, Kore nani? Nani kore? You can say, Sore nani? Nani sore? Are nani? Nani are? You know? Um, for this, for I think the given answers I wrote, sore nani, nani sore, sore. Number three, she says, are wa jitensha desu, are wa jitensha desu. Jitensha is bicycle, that's a bicycle. That over there is a bicycle, she's using are. So we have to use are as well, right? Because it's not close to either of us. So I would say, are wa nan desu ka? Are wa nan desu ka? Number four, finally, this guy's asking, or he's saying, guitar this, guitar this. And he's not using a demonstrative noun, you know, kore, sore, are. So we can pick whatever we want. And I think for my answer, my, my written answer, I wrote, sore. Sore, sore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa nan desu ka? Let's look at the answers. Mm -hmm. Everything looks good. Just a warning, do not use kore, sore, or are to introduce or talk about other people. It's rude. <laughs> you cannot say kore wa John desu. This is John. Kore wa John desu? No. Are wa Tanaka desu. That thing over there, because you're literally calling him a thing. That thing over there is Tanaka. How rude is that? Don't use it like this. We're going to look at other ways later on. How to introduce people stuff like that later yes no questions this is the second grammar point um, basically it's the same structure just without nani instead of nani you use something else so let's use this formula a wa b desu ka a wa b desu ka is a b <laughs> i have to kind of pause there for example sore wa pen desu ka Sore wa pen desu ka? Is that a pen? Rusu wa amerika jin desu ka? Rusu wa amerika jin desu ka? Is Ruth an American? Or is Ruth American? This is a more casual way of saying it. There's two ways, actually. A wa b? A wa b? Or a b? A b? <laughs> Sounds kind of funny when I say it like that. Examples. Sore wa pen. Sore wa pen. There's no ka, so you kind of have to, you know, raise your voice at the end to make it clear that it's a question. Rusu amerika jin? Rusu amerika jin? Rusu amerika jin? Is Ruth an American? Again, be careful to raise your voice. <laughs> to answer, simply use either hai or ie. And then you can clarify using uh, these formulas. Hai, A wa B desu. Yes, A is B. Ie, A wa B dewa arimasen. Ie, A wa B janai, janai, ja arimasen. I was using the informal form, which is right here. Uh, the casual informal way of saying yes or no is un. Mm. And un, mm. un. Mm. Now, in, it's, it's written like it should be pronounced un and 
un, but it's not actually un and un. It's more of a grunt. So you can just say un or un, un, un. In English, we do this too, right? In English, we would do something like mm hmm and mm mm. Those are just grunts. It may sound strange in Japanese, this un and un, but in English, we have the same thing. People just don't realize it. So um, going back to the formulas, the first one is un, vida. Yeah, it's B. Sometimes people translate this un as yeah instead of yes. I guess because yeah seems a little less formal in English than yes, but honestly, it's just yes. Un, B dewa nai. Un, B janai. No, it's not B. So just to put this in context, we have this blue, uh, this, the girl here is saying, Kore, kore wa enpitsu desu ka? Kore wa enpitsu desu ka? And it is. So the guy would say, Hai, enpitsu desu. Hai, enpitsu desu. Uh, now she's asking if it's a pen. Kore wa pen desu ka? Kore wa pen desu ka? Do you like my girly voice? And the guy would say, Ie, pen jo arimasen. Pen jo arimasen. Or, or, see he's refuting her and saying, no, it's not. Or he could just correct her instead and say, Ie, enpitsu desu. He's correcting her, right, with a positive declaration. Ie, enpitsu desu. Activity four, insert the most appropriate word in each blank based on the situation. Go ahead, try it on your own, pause the video. Take your time. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one. Uh, it looks like the girl is asking the question we know because of ka, right? Nani nani wa isu desu ka? <laughs> She's talking about the pencil. So we have to use kore because it's closer. She's saying, she would say, kore wa isu desu ka? Kore wa isu desu ka? The guy would say, <laughs> no, right? I hope that's not a chair. He's saying no, and he's using a positive declaration here, so he's probably correcting, he's correcting her and affirming that it's actually a pencil. So he would say, Ie, enpitsu desu. Ie, enpitsu desu. Number two, she's asking the question again. She's talking about the chair. Nani nani wa isu? Nani nani wa isu? This is informal, right? Casual speech. And uh, because it's close to him, she wouldn't say kore, she would say sore. She wouldn't say are, right? Because it's within their vicinity. So she would say, sore wa isu? Sore wa isu? Hmm. Raising her voice. And he just has a one word reply. What would that one word reply be casually? Un. Mm hmm. Mm, exactly. And there would be answers. So when you're asking a series of questions that are similar, you don't have to keep repeating the entire question. Just use wa and then a question mark. Wa, for example. This guy starts out by asking, Sore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa nan desu ka? She replies, Kore wa enpitsu desu. Kore wa enpitsu desu. But what if he wants to know about that chair far away? Are wa? Are wa? She would say, Are wa isu desu. So, you just, you just need wa and a question mark. And maybe a demonstrative noun, like this one, like are. Are wa? And she would answer, he could ask again, Ja, are wa? What about that? Are wa? Keep going. Activity five, answer the following questions in Japanese. Note the level of respect. And I have some useful vocabulary. You're going to need it. Uh, pause the video right now if you want to do it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one, our friend here is asking, Kore wa uma desu ka? Kore wa uma desu ka? Uma is horse. And yes, it is a horse. So we can say, Hai, uma desu. Hai, uma desu. Number two, he's asking, Kore wa tori desu ka? Kore wa tori desu ka? Tori is bird. Is it a bird? No, it's a panda. So we would say, Ie, tori ja arimasen. 
or toridewa arimasen. I like ja arimasen, so I use ja arimasen. And then we would correct him and clarify and say, panda desu. <laughs> panda desu. Ie, tori ja arimasen. Panda desu. Okay, number three. Our friend here in yellow is asking, kore pen? Kore pen? Casually, right? So let's answer casually. Um, it's not a pen. We would say, Mm, pen janai. Banana da. Banana da. Try saying that five times fast. Banana da. Banana is banana. Number four, kore wa kamera. Kore wa kamera. Again, casual, so let's answer casually. Mm, kamera da. Mm, kamera da. It's kind of hard to say. Actually, here are the answers. Finally, we're on to our listening practice activity six. I'm going to read two compositions twice. Listen and write down what you hear. You can pause the video if you need more time. Number one, here we go. Kore wa nan desu ka? Kore wa nan desu ka? Okay, the answer is kore wa nan desu ka? Number two. Are wa enpitsu ja arimasen. Are wa enpitsu ja arimasen. The answer is are wa enpitsu ja arimasen. How'd you do? Let me know in the comments section below. Translation practice. Translate uh, either into English or Japanese based on what you're given. Go ahead, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. First guy says, Sore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa nan desu ka? What is that? What is that? <laughs> and the guy on the bottom says, Well, it's not a chair. <laughs> it's not a chair. Isu de wa arimasen. Or, isu ja arimasen. Or, isu de wa nai. Or, isu ja nai. You can also optionally throw in the sorewa. Actually, that would change it, right? If we throw in sorewa, it would become that's not a chair, that is not a chair. But because it's it's, sometimes sore can be translated as it. I think just isu de warimasen is fine. Back to our key sentence. Kore wa nan desu ka? Sore wa? Hopefully you understand this by now. Kore wa nan desu ka? What is this? Sore wa? What about that? Or, and as for that, you know? Now for the homework. Look around you. Look around your house. Look around your neighborhood or your campus if you go to campus. I don't know. Ask yourself. Sore wa nan desu ka? Are wa nan desu ka? And then when you go home, you know, look all that stuff up, and then you can answer yourself. Ah, oh, banana this, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Make it a game. And as always, there's a worksheet for this lesson. Go ahead, fill that out, and learn. Um, that's it for this lesson. Sorry if it was too long for your tastes. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. I look forward to seeing you all in future lectures.